It used to be that a black man dribbled a basketball, hoping and wishing that he would get out the hood. Hoping and wishing that he would get out the project. So if he bounces the ball hard enough and he shoots the ball good enough, he will get a chance to get away and make some money and live good and live in the hills and have bad females and live the life, the glorious life that every man wants to live that lived in poverty. Well, that's not the case for a kid who never lived in poverty, John Moran. I'm about sick of him because, like, I'm I'm about sick of him. I feel like he's an overrated player anyways because, yeah, you see the highlight dunks and you see him jumping over people and dunking, but the guy can't shoot. The guy can't shoot. He can drop to the basket. He's fast. He can jump, but that only can last you so long in the NBA. What if you lose your ups? What if you what if, what if what if you lose your speed? What else do you have? You gotta be able to shoot. You gotta be able to do something, play defense, something. You don't know how to play defense. You don't know how to dribble. You don't know how to shoot. But he he became a phenomenon in the last two years, last two to three years, and 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 because of the high power dunks and. You know, the Memphis Grizzlies feeling they sell. You know, they ain't got no championships, never won nothing, never been to a championship yet. But they're feeling themselves. They're feeling themselves. They're jumping around, making memes, and doing, you know, he's doing the gritty and all this stuff. But at, 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 at the same time, while you're over here doing the gritty and loving the kids and everything else, you're trying to be a thug. You're trying to be a thug. There's an incident that happened where you got into it with a 17-year-old kid. He punched a 17-year-old kid. Why? Uh, he said he was defending himself or some kid did something to him, threw something at his head, so he punched the kid up. Uh, or is that the wrong incident? No, it was, a, it was at a basketball game. And they were playing basketball, and the 17-year-old kid threw the basketball at his head. So he punched the kid 12 to 13 times, you know. If you want to call that, the, and then and then they said allegedly he pulled a gun out. So that's that's when he went too far, John. You know, punching somebody, punching a kid into a basketball that you understand. Pulling a gun out on him like you some kind of thug or gangster. That's where we start calling you motherfucking Carlton. Bruh, I, I, know, I know people say like, okay, he went to going to a private school doesn't make you uh, going to a private school doesn't make you uh, not a thug. It don't make you street. I understand that, but if you but 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 if your whole history throughout high school, you're not that old. You're only like around 23, 24, 22, 23, 24 years old. Your whole history around high school. You was this preppy kid that just played basketball, white friends, and we don't have no pictures of you in the, in the hood smoking a blunt. We have no nothing. We have no nothing of you indications of you being near hood. You from some tour South Carolina? That's the slums. I I don't know nothing about South Carolina, so I'm not gonna sit here and down South Carolina. I don't know nothing, but I just know it's the slums. But it's country, country bumpkin. And you come from there, went to all white school, played basketball, boom, went to Murray State. You know, surprised people because you're high flying, got drafted. All right, job. But now you get in the league. And now all of a sudden you need no brown and, and you running CML posses and stuff. What, what, what the hell do you got going on? What the hell? Did, never in the history of the NBA, never in the history of the NBA has there been a million dollar man that decides that he wants to be a thug. Never in the history of the NBA. Jo- Iverson just dressed like Iverson was just natural. You know, that's how niggas dress. He just dressed like a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But he would he, he didn't go around trying to sell dope and try to be on the block and try to carry a pistol. Like, everybody knew the Irish. And, like, you play basketball, cuz. Like, get your money. You feel me? Like, that, 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 
like, like people respect you because you play basketball. You don't have to be a thug. You don't have to carry pistols. You don't have to pull pistols out on Indiana Pacers staff because they came at you sideways because you was talking smack in a basketball game that you're making millions off. I don't understand. You know, you have a mom and dad that love you dearly. You have a dad that shows up to all your games. I wish my dad showed up to one game. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least you had a dad that show, show up to you. You have your dad still showing up to your games. You got support. Why do you want to be a thug, man? Why are you trying so hard to be a thug, to get arrested, catch a charge, get kicked out the NBA, not become an icon, lose your money, lose all his money, for what? For, for what, street cred? People going to look at you stupid as hell. People are looking at you stupid. Why are you looking for street cred? You are a hundred millionaire. No one gives a damn about a nigga with street cred with a hundred million dollars. They don't like you whether you, you did it what Whatever you do, they don't like you because you had that amount of money. So, you know, you're acting talking about me and my niggas and all this stuff and all this, y'all doing this thug life activities and you listening to NBA Young Boy on repeat. Y'all need to lay off some drugs, man. This generation doped up, man. Lay off some drugs.